Bad rules stand up, nigga. I do this for my city. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. looks busy and stressed. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime. No time for chit-chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware. Makes me feel 13 again. Coming up at noon, K-Bay 7 News will explore the mystery of yesterday's unusual snowfall on a warm and sunny late afternoon that confused and delighted Arcadia Bay residents. We'll be talking with Portland meteorologists in the area and look at some of your fun video reactions to the odd snow flurry. Who knows? Maybe Mother Nature was pranking us all. So stay tuned to K-Bay 7 News for the real story. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie 
for grilled mac and cheese. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. Uh, that's not good. Anyway, hmm, that bacon sure smells good. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He kinda has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Oh, sorry. That's okay. I just need to see my truck out there in the lot. Been a long night in the road, and I have to make sure my baby is sleeping right. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You crack me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked, so I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> Like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did, after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. 
even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? David scared me when he said he might have my scholarship taken away for that stupid joint. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh God, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl, a woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A skull keychain for a punk like you. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. You need to look at the items and rewind so Chloe believes. Okay, Max, study every item carefully and don't forget anything. You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Your car keys. 
Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Ten thirty-four a.m. Booyah, Max can tell time. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more, something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That's the best song I've ever This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. The trucker drops his mug, and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that. Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. 
Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then... Let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Chloe finally believes me. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years, and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with, too. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I could rewind and not answer Kate. It's not like I won't see her in class later. At me this week. That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also super sized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Drink? Yuck. <laughs> you are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <laughs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. <sighs> Stupid bottle. bottle. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. That dough is the perfect photo op. 